Right, so video credits credits for this go to Dev Alushi, that's engineer Ali for getting to put this together. This decentralized application is a blockchain based document verification system with IPFS as the storage layer. And it's available on this GitHub for anyone who wants to get to clone or fork the repo for further updates and changes. So I'll just get to do that here. My desktop. Let's clone this. Oh, sorry. Let's do a git clone. Uh, already exists. Right, so let's try this again. So cloning into the folder, let's cd into it and then open it in the IDE. So for now one of the extensions you'll be getting to use to follow along is the live server extension. If you have any alternative, that would work fine too. But also have to deploy the contracts. And you could do that using a smart contract development framework like Hardhat or Foundry. But I'll be using Remix, Remix IDE, an online IDE to get to deployed this contract today, all you have to do is copy and paste your code in, connect your wallets I'm using the MetaMask injected provider here with, this is on the Sepolia E testnet, yeah, and all you have to do is compile or tap control S, save and pick the folder, the contract rather and deploy. So now you get this pop-up and see it costs almost nothing to get to deploy this. Tap on deploy, wait for a few seconds and you'll find this over here and the deployed or on pin contracts. So now the contract has been deployed and we'll need this contract address over in the app.js file that's over here where you have address so copy and paste this in here and save it and that's basically it's plug and play so now we can choose to go live and I'm going live we can get to access the home page here 17.0.0.1 colon 5500 that's that's where the live server will be hosted to. And now we have this here. One of the issues that you might run into is trying to upload a certificate without first having an exporter set. So this may not recognize the Polia Eep so well, and that's why this is grayed out. But we can try to add an address. This is the address that I'm using here, the deployer address but also I'll make it the uh, the first exporter. So let's say University of Ali, add this as, as an exporter, uh, we have an issue. So let's head back here. Oh, didn't get to install the packages, npm install. Always a good idea to just follow the readme. So after cloning the repository, and seeding into it I have to do an npm install. So now heading back to here, we see that it's no longer grayed out. We now have these items showing up. So first of all, we have to have a, add an exporter. So that's my address and the investor of Ali and I have to confirm the transaction. So while we wait for a few seconds for the transaction to be mined and confirm over here that it's pending. You can always choose to speed this up since it costs really little. Uh, a speed up might not cost so much, but now you see the exporter has been added to the blockchain. Try to upload the, the file now. 
Let's see. Let's see any file at all. Let's see this screenshot. Uh, upload the document or have to confirm the transaction by signing a new transaction that pops up here. Confirm. Wait for a few more seconds for this to be mined. You, know, you can always choose to speed up the transactions, but that's that's a, a personal choice. So now this is nearly all done. Transaction has been confirmed to the blockchain. It's been uploaded. Now you have the QR code as well as these details showing you the, I believe this is the transaction hash that you can get a view on Polygon, Polygon scan. This should be the contract ends in E12. Let's see, this ends in E12 as well. Yes, ends in E12. This is the timestamp at which it was uploaded. This is the, the block, should be the block number and the amount of gas it costs. So you can also choose to verify the documents. Here you get to see recently uploaded documents. If you choose to verify this, you come over here and you, you choose to put this in. I believe we use this. Hash this in. So it's hashing documents. Now that verify. Obviously that's it. it has been verified successfully. It also shows all the details that you saw on the previous page. And this is the exporter that I added at the University of Ali. So you could choose to view the certificate and then it links you over to IPFS. But we don't need to do that. So that's a quick walkthrough of how to get to use the DAP. You can also get to delete this file. If you try verifying a document that has not been uploaded, you'd see this error message. If you try to uh, upload a document using an account that has not been added as a, let me send some Sepolia eating here just to, you know, test this out. So once sent some Sepolia eats to the second address here, we'll send this error point. 01 Sepulia ETH. If I try to use this address account 2 that ends in 9B and not 1A like the other, then I won't be able to. Let's connect it to the site. I won't be able to upload the file. I'll get an error. Watch this. Uploading now show this error so if you run into this error you know just what cost it you get an outrageous amount to pay in fees but that's because you are not already an exporter it just doesn't provide the error message as precisely as you'd want it but that's just it all right so thank you for watching